Technical analysis is the study of past price and volume patterns to predict future market movements. Technical analysis tools can help you identify trends, support and resistance levels, and potential entry and exit points for your trades. In this section, we will discuss some of the most popular technical analysis tools that you can use to analyze the U.S. Stock Market One of the most basic technical analysis tools is the trend line. A trend line is a straight line that connects two or more significant highs or lows on a chart. A trend line can show the direction and strength of a trend, as well as potential reversal points. To draw a trend line, you need at least two points on the chart that form a clear pattern. You can extend the trend line into the future to project where the price may go if the trend continues. Another common technical analysis tool is the moving average. A moving average is a line that shows the average price of a security over a certain period of time. Moving averages can smooth out the noise and fluctuations in the price data and show the overall direction of the market. There are different types of moving averages, such as simple, exponential, and weighted. You can use one or more moving averages on your chart to identify trends, support and resistance levels, and crossover signals. A third technical analysis tool is the indicator. An indicator is a mathematical calculation based on price and volume data that can provide additional information about the market conditions and sentiment. There are many types of indicators, such as momentum, volatility, trend following, and oscillators. Indicators can help you confirm trends, measure strength and weakness, identify overbought and oversold conditions, and generate buy and sell signals. Some examples of popular indicators are The Unbalance Volume Indicator, OBV, measures the positive and negative flow of volume in a security over time. It is a momentum indicator that shows whether buyers or sellers are more active in the market. The Relative Strength Index, RSI, measures the speed and change of price movements on a scale from zero to it is an oscillator that shows whether a security is overbought or oversold. The Moving Average Convergence Divergence, MCD, measures the difference between two moving averages and compares it to another moving average. It is a trend-following indicator that shows the direction and strength of a trend, as well as potential reversal points. To use technical analysis tools effectively, you need to understand their strengths and limitations, as well as how to combine them with other tools and methods. Technical analysis tools are not infallible, and they do not guarantee success in trading. They are only tools that can help you make informed decisions based on historical data and probabilities. You should always use technical analysis tools with caution and discretion, and test them on different time frames, markets, and scenarios before applying them to your real trades. In this section, we will talk about how to diversify your portfolio and manage your risk exposure in a volatile market. Volatility is a measure of how much an asset's price fluctuates around its average. High volatility means higher risk, but also higher potential reward. Low volatility means lower risk, but also lower potential return. Diversification is a strategy to reduce the overall risk of your portfolio by investing in different assets that are not highly correlated with each other. Correlation is a measure of how closely two assets move together. A correlation of one means they move in the same direction and magnitude. A correlation of minus one means they move in opposite directions and magnitude. A correlation of zero means they move independently of each other. By diversifying your portfolio, you can reduce the impact of any single asset's performance on your overall returns. For example, if you invest only in stocks, you are exposed to the risk of a stock market crash. But if you also invest in bonds, cash, commodities, and other asset classes, you can cushion the blow of a stock market downturn with the gains from other assets. Here are some tips on how to diversify your portfolio and manage your risk in a volatile market. Balance risk and reward. The way you allocate assets across stocks, bonds, cash and other asset categories lays the foundation for your investment outcome. Generally, stocks have higher returns but also higher volatility than bonds and cash. You should choose an asset allocation that matches your risk tolerance, time horizon, and financial goals. 
don't follow the herd. One way to potentially reduce portfolio risk is to avoid following herd mentality. Herd mentality is when investors buy or sell based on what others are doing, rather than on their own analysis and judgment. This can lead to buying high and selling low, which can hurt your returns and increase your volatility. Don't try to time the market. Timing the market is when investors try to predict when the market will rise or fall and buy or sell accordingly. This is very difficult to do consistently and accurately and can result in missing out on opportunities or locking in losses. Instead of timing the market, you should adopt a long-term perspective and stick to your investment plan. Take advantage of market volatility. Market volatility can also create opportunities for savvy investors who are willing to buy low and sell high. You can use market volatility to rebalance your portfolio periodically, which means adjusting your asset allocation back to your target level by selling some of the assets that have increased in value and buying some of the assets that have decreased in value. Keep your emotions in check. Investing can be an emotional roller coaster, especially when the market is volatile. You may feel tempted to panic sell when the market drops or chase performance when the market rises. However, these emotional reactions can impair your judgment and lead to poor decisions that can harm your portfolio. You should try to remain calm and rational and focus on your long-term goals rather than short-term fluctuations. By following these tips, you can diversify your portfolio and manage your risk exposure in a volatile market. Diversification does not guarantee against loss, but it can help you reduce the impact of market volatility on your portfolio and achieve your investment objectives.